What is going on, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington, this is Deer Meat for Dinner, and welcome to my mom's backyard. This is the yard I grew up in. See all these trees, these fences? Well, the screened in porch wasn't there, but the pool was. I learned how to swim in that pool right there. And my mom is like Miss Green Thumb. Everyone in the world knows her as Miss Betty. And I'm telling you guys, she was an amazing mom. She picked a big switch and wasn't scared to use it, but we had an amazing life. Taking us down to Dubois Park fishing. We never sat at the house board. We were always doing something, which is probably why I live the way I do now. And about eight months ago, in conversation, she was just telling me how she had always dreamed of having a koi pond. So over the course of the next few months, I started talking with a guy named Greg Whitstock. He's known as the pond guy. He wanted to build a pond at my property. And I was like, man, let's build a pond at my mom's house. Let's do her a awesome Christmas gift and build her her very own koi pond. He's like, let's do it. So I got my dad in on it. We got one of his machines right there. And then all the other guys, a guy named Jack from Atlantis Water Gardens. He's also a YouTuber. He came down bunch of other fellas. We've been out hog hunting, doing all kinds of cool stuff at the ranch. But today is the build. Now, the plan was to be at my mom's house at 7 a.m. So last night I went to bed out at the ranch. I wake up this morning and in my room it's completely black. I'm thinking it's like 5 a.m. I walk out of my room. Now it ain't 5 a.m. It's 9 a.m. So they've already been here like two hours. So let me show you what they're doing. And then the rest of the day I'm going to be here helping them and showing the whole process of building my mom's dream pond. I know how to swim, but I don't know ponds. <laughs> Just tell me, get me up to speed. What have we done because I've been sleeping? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so actually we pulled your mom and your dad outside. We walked to a good spot for the pond. They said the most important thing in this home is the grandchildren. So we wanted to set up so they could see the pond right through the screen. It's about a 10 by 12 pond. We're gonna put a skimmer in it, so it's gonna be nice and easy to take care of. That's where the pump is gonna go. And on the other side, there's gonna be a waterfall with a small stream that feeds the pond. So you get good circulation, the filtration's built right into it. It's gonna look beautiful. Awesome. People started like eight. Yeah, hey, hey you guys, Bath of the South shows up. <laughs> eight eight o'clock in the morning, what time is it? 9.30. He spends half his day on Instagram. He's complaining that I show up late. this out! I am full on Team Aquascape now. I feel like I put on my Superman cape. Dude, what do you think? Looking good. What does the rubber liner do? The rubber liner is actually going to hold the water in place so it doesn't seep into the soil and disappear into the ground. Seems like it's got an important job. It's time to start rocking, y'all. We have this big log that was put in. We're gonna try to have the waterfall sitting right back over there. And we want the waterfall to fall into a little pooling area here. And it'll be, and the log will kind of be a transition between the waterfall and the pond. And this is exactly what you see out in nature. Trees fall down into these ponds, water's rushing around them and everything. And that's what we're trying to do is just replicate that type of a look. That ain't no joke. Greg just picked up a 300 pound rock ah. by himself. Now this is actually the opening of the skimmer. We're gonna cut the liner out of it. This way the water can get sucked in right into the basket and that's how the skimmer functions. What do you think, babe? <laughs> I'm the coffee getter. <laughs> um, so tell much. me if you want another sugar in there. Oh, this would be hard to be perfect. Thank you. So we need to get soil all the way around this entire area. Now I understand what's going on a whole lot more. Alrighty, you guys. So Greg and I are at a local place called the Bushel Stop, and we're looking for plants. All right, let's get two of these milkweeds. And then, I, oh, this is awesome. There's potato vine right here. So anything that will grow and soften up the edges, give it two months, everything will spread. So a potato vine like this that will grow along the edges, 
go into the water, cover up the rocks. You don't want to know where the water ends and the land begins when you have your water feature. We are not in Chicago anymore, buddy. Look at this. I mean, this looks like something out of a science fiction movie. I mean, how, how many blooms can a plant get? Well, we got a truck full of plants. Oh, it's Bruno Mascarande in his business suit. There's Honey Pie. Hey. Look, at, look how pretty he is. That's just a pretty man right there, y'all. It's all good. Tell us a little bit about the shoes, Aubrey. Shoes. Shoes are beat down. It's over. I need to go shopping. Oh my gosh. So we've been gone like about an hour picking up plants and getting lunch. They've already built this big berm behind the biofall. It's looking good, man. This hey, Greg. You got to put a rock on there so the liner stops Jack, popping up. I got it. Yeah, but that's it's... a crappy job you're doing right now. There you oh, go. Shut up. That's. <laughs> Gosh, I'm bossed around in my own pond. <laughs> the water's gonna fill up in here from the pump, and now we're creating a waterfall on the outside. So we're just trying to, it's a big jigsaw puzzle. Big blocks of stone, trying to figure out how we want the water to fall off of that to create the desired sound and look for your mouth. a rock tray we're gonna rock this whole top edge in and when it's finished it'll just look like it's welling up out of a rock structure it'll just be surrounded by plants it's gonna be awesome gonna send all the water up to our waterfall up on the top. It's gonna to create all that skimming action so any leaf debris that falls into the pond is gonna get swept into here and there's gonna be a little catch basket. You can take the basket out to keep all the debris out of there which is gonna give pristine water quality. This kid right here is a hard worker man. <laughs> Betty does a lot for other people, and it's it's nice to finally give back to her because she just busts her butt helping all of us all the time. Yeah. Yeah. That is gorgeous. Awesome. Hold, Hold my hand right here. Okay. Hold on a second. Now don't let me fall or trip. I'm, I'm not. Cool. Okay, you guys. So this is mom. You're, you just walk with me. I, I won't let you run in anything. Oh, just come on. Sorry. Just hold on to my arm. Okay. Hold on to my arm. There's a wagon to your left, so stay behind. She's fine. She's don't fine. Don't let me trip. I'm too old to be falling down. <laughs> okay, open your eyes. Oh, man. <laughs> Good grief. Oh, that's beautiful, you guys. That's really nice. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Luke, don't fall in. <laughs> yeah, I know. She's worried about it. So look at all the pretty flowers, Wookie. Yeah, landscape. Now, here's the thing. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> uh, it's really, really nice. Then, I knew you love your Bird of Paradise, so those are orange and white Bird of Paradise. Thank you very much. Oh, and this is a powder puff. Oh, the hummingbirds love this and the butterflies. There are some very special thank yous that I got to come by and give. This is Ed. This is the man with the plan. He's the he's like the architectural design genius that saw the vision. It came together. That's my little brother right there. That's Gabe. Check him out on Instagram, Blue Gabe. He's always on Instagram. This is Reynold. Reynold, what's the name of your channel? And uh, Tussy Landscaping. Tussie Landscape on YouTube. You guys do amazing stuff. And where are you at? Uh, Central Pennsylvania. Central Pennsylvania. 
This is Alan. Me and Alan got to spend some time in the woods. He killed his first wild hog out on the ranch and we cooked it up last night. That was amazing. Yeah, What's good. the name of your channel? Uh, Decker's Pondscapes. Decker's Pondscapes. And where are you at? I'm in upstate New York. Upstate New York. This is the pond father right here. Howdy. This is Greg's dad. He was a part of the whole start of this revolution, Pondscape stuff. And uh, I thank you so much for all your help. He did a lot of the electrical work. And I'm now, close by, I'm in Titusville. Yeah, and he's in Titusville. He's in Titusville. This is Austin. Austin is a landscape specialist. He lives here in Jupiter. What's the name of your company? Lucky Landscaping. Check out Lucky Landscape. What do you specialize in? We do, we specialize in maintenance. Anything from lawn care to landscape design. So we awesome. just about it all. Young entrepreneur making a big difference. So do you love it? And I this man it. right here is awesome. This is Jack. Good old Jack. J A A K. That's right. With Atlantis Water Gardens, uh, super fella. We've had a great time. Yes. He spends a ton of time with his YouTube channel. Really cool stuff. Thank and uh, we talked today about some some different ideas, but this is amazing. I appreciate everything you've done for me as far as giving me the input for that. And I'm really striving to, uh, to create a message that resonates with people with what we do. Yeah, we build beautiful water features, but really it's more about the story behind the water feature. And thank you for Robert for, for making me realize that. I really appreciate it. And this is the key feature of this whole event. This is Greg Whitstock. He is the pond guy. He's the guy who really started this whole revolution. And, and you're the guy who made it happen. So, well. And it's a labor of love. I mean, look, I don't get out every single day and get to build these things, but when I do, it's it's not even work for me. It's so fun because you're now welcome to the Aquascape family. I want to tell you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. For being a part of my channel or a part of my life and a part of this video. I love you guys and I appreciate you. I uh, love you too, bro. This is awesome. This is real. You've been a great host for us all week and this is our sixth pond in seven days. So we're ready to take a little bit of a break. <laughs> right? Mom, I love you. Love you. Thank you for all you Thank did you. for me. It's a family tradition, y'all. Take care. God bless. Three. We are gone. <laughs> Thank you.